What's up guys, today I'm going to be showing you some awesome features to make life a little bit easier. So let's go ahead and get started. So these are this is for Samsung devices. The first thing we're going to do is go to Galaxy Store, download an application called GoodLock. Again, it's the Galaxy Store and not the uh, Google Play Store. So one of the things that I love turning on uh, with this application is you guys know how when you hold down the multitasking button, like you get this, but to multitask, you have to hold that down, you have to you know, pick pop up or split screen. Well, they make it so much easier and so much less time consuming. So we're gonna go into Good Lock here and we're gonna click on Multistar. This is one of the first things I like to do. So we're gonna go to Quick Launch of Multi Window here. We're gonna tap that on. I like personally like to do uh, open and pop up view. So, all right guys, so now you will see a difference here. So let's say we're in Chrome and let's just say we hold it down now look it goes right into pop-up view now how awesome is that so we get the pop-up view it's just a quicker way to multitask so this is really for my die-hard multitasking people if you don't really multitask then you probably won't really care but look at that so we just we're able to get the stuff so so much easier because remember the first time we did it you had to click that and then we had to go and do hold it down and choose well now it just automatically uh, does it so uh, this is something that I really like guys definitely uh, consider turning that on alright so the next little cool thing is messing with the multitasking tray here uh, to get it to look how you kinda want and get it to feel how you kinda want so the first thing we're gonna do is in good luck we're gonna download the home up section so make sure that is downloaded and then we're gonna actually go into the play store we're gonna head into the play store and download an application called find lock this is free so just go ahead and download that real quick. Just make sure it's installed. And then we're gonna head back to Good Lock. And remember that home up section I said to go to? Click on Task Changer. And then we're gonna go ahead and let me make sure make sure this is Good Lock. Yeah. And then we're gonna go ahead and enable that. And you can see now we can mess with the multitasking trace. So you see how we have a bunch of different options as far as vertical slim my favorite thing is how this is basically how Xiaomi does their multitasking here but as you can see I can see all the windows or I can see more windows now so let me just open up you know a bunch of stuff here and this is just this is just how I like to multitask to be able to see like all the windows and stuff like that but like I said you can take it a step further if you desire to you can see it just opens up for a ton of customizations you can see I have the vertical one very cool looking so I mean obviously you just mess around with it if you're bored and you know you're bored with the the old layout let's come in here and mess around with it also we have I think I'm one that a lot of people will like where is it at yeah this list one very clean looking so based on your design preference and how you want to kind of do it uh, definitely uh, just mess with it and check it out all right next just to give you an example uh, so we're gonna go to the quick star and download that category here now you know on you know Android you just swipe down and you can get to your quick toggle but you have to do an extra swipe so what this does if you go ahead and enable open quick panel directly so now you can see I, it automatically goes to my toggles instead of me having to do that extra swipe and then if I swipe from the left it'll bring the notifications uh, there so you can see but it you know if I do it like this it's just the same thing right and like I said you can add that it gives you an option right so you can go ahead and tense that it can be 50 50 or you can go ahead and put it on which side uh, that you would you know rather have it this is something that I really like. Just a, a little quick, quicker way to get to your quick toggles, right? All right, guys. So the next thing I want to show you guys in Good Luck is the clock faces. So by default, you get a lot of boring clock faces. So we'll just go ahead and show you. Um, uh, Samsung barely gives you pretty much, you know, any of them. You get like it's basically nothing. So if you want to go ahead and enhance the customization of your clock face. And it does work for the always on display as well too. We'll just do the lock screen right now. 
and look at all of these options that we have that we can go ahead and mess with a lot of options here to be able to just you know make it your own tons of fun stuff that you can go ahead and mess with much better than the stock um, stock version go ahead and apply it you can see so I'll go around and just mess with the clock faces like I said you get way more options than uh, you would typically get you know with your standard and also you know I can come in here customize it right turn it make it to whatever color that I want it to so you can really go in depth with this phone and again this is for people who really like to um, customize their device and stuff like that definitely come in here and kind of make the phone more of your own in a very easy very cool way as you can see all right so the last thing I'm going to show you is how to get all your applications uh, to pop up like this if you want them all sort of like you know scrunched up now me personally I don't really like the look of this but like I wanted to put it in here because some people might like this kind of look especially if you have a lot of applications you don't want to be like constantly flicking and stuff like that right uh, so how we're gonna do that is and you can you can honestly just play with it but you can do 7x7 seven seven is the most and then you could change your max count as well too so you can see I can even go all the way up to 9 as well and you can go ahead and just sort of play with that right and see like what you would like so just show you like the minimum amount let's just do 4x4 four four. as you can see it, it, like I said it really depends so you can see I have less so it really depends on how you want that whole thing set up I just think it's cool like I said I like that that idea for people who have a ton of applications right I don't have a ton so I'm fine with how you know Samsung does it but I want to show you guys how that goes they also have a few other things that you can do hide app icon labels you can mess with the background the blur um, it's a ton of stuff that you can do in here you can loop pages as well too create an app list um, but yeah so definitely take that into consideration so be sure to let me know do you guys like these type of videos let me know in the comments down below and I'll catch you guys in the next one